two seemingly harmless ingredients. But mix them together and you get some very different results. Some mixtures will catch fire, others will explode or give off toxic fumes. While some require a spark to set them off, others require only a drop of water or they may even require nothing at all. In all these experiments, one of the constituents was considered too weak to be classified dangerous goods. You don't have to be a genius to work out the results of two real hazards coming together in an aircraft full of passengers.